take two of the video that will never reach the internet. Um, I've been telling myself for probably two months now that I was going to start making YouTube videos. That, and I have a whole list of ideas. And I was waiting until I moved into my own apartment. And now that I've finally done that, I've put it off. And it's been about two weeks. And today I said, okay, you know what? You don't have to do a big, amazing thing. You can just film a crappy video in your car talking because that's starting things. So, some basic things to know about me. One, I'm a Mormon. I have depression. I have ADHD. And I have a dog. I feel like those are vital points to my personality. I am sarcastic. I live in Idaho. And I'm a nanny. It has some interesting combinations in life. But, alas, that's what it is. I have nothing that makes me special to YouTube. I make jokes, but most of them are took, taken off of Tumblr. I can draw stick figures and hearts. And I have zero animation talent and a budget for anything of about this much, including my groceries. So, here it is, the first of several horrible videos to be filmed on the front-facing camera of my phone. Now, I feel like that's a pretty good introduction to me. Now, I'm going to turn this into a review of Jacksepticeye's How Did We Get Here Tour, because that's been an idea in my head, and I like it for the five minutes I have left of my drive. So, Jacksepticeye's How Did We Get Here Tour was amazing. It's something that if, well, I think it's done now, but if you manage to see this before the European leg, I would highly recommend it. It's obviously something that he's very personal about, as it's about him and viewers and subscribers and how did we get here in his life. He uses it to build stories as well as jokes and audience interaction. This sounds so, so rehearsed. I promise it isn't really that rehearsed. And it was about two hours, maybe a little less. And part of the deal he makes is he asks that you don't take photos or videos besides a brief little moment in the beginning. So, I don't have anything really to show you except some crappy phone photos. With that being said, I would highly recommend it if you like being inspired, if you like laughing, or if you generally like supporting Jacksepticeye, it is something that is awesome to do. I would highly recommend it. I went with my little brother, my best friend, her little sister, and another friend of mine. And we spent the day, I spent about an hour zipping around Salt Lake City on a scooter, on an electric scooter. And I would also recommend that because that is how I work with my life. This is not comprehensive, but it's a review. Five stars to the tour. I bought a little plushie and it's currently on my purse. It just hangs there, so I have a little Sam. So, this is my life. I often don't make coherent sense. I often go into things and completely change what happens by the end of it. And I also still have no clue what I'm doing with my life at 20 years old. Liza Koshi is more successful than me, and she is a year older than me, and she wins. Because life is obviously a competition. So... This has been a comprehensive example of what my life, my brain, and my world is like. I also have curly hair. You can't really tell with this afro I've got going on. I recently shaved it for a little girl with leukemia. That being said, I have arrived at work. And I also have nothing left to say. So, peace out. I'll tell stories later.